Whiteheart with Powerhouse. This is a CBT. Well, it was a CT guitar lesson for Mark. But Mark, you wanted to convert it to a CVT. This is in standard tuning. You wanted all the solos. I forget who the guitar player was. The dude's a jammer. Is it like Steve Lukather or um, uh, the guy from Giant? Dan something. I can't remember. Anyways, the guy can play a lot of solos here, dude. I'm just going to... I think the best way to approach this is just kind of play them um, moderate tempo for you and just keep moving because you have your tabs in here but you you i get it you want to hear them so um the first one isn't the one that i just started with the we got i think two solos a main solo and then an outro solo that fades out um it's an f sharp minor 256 is our timestamp. our first one is this Here it is, it's a little slower. Here's the next one. And watch your picking. You'll see down ups, they're written for a reason. If you're not feeling it the same way, reverse it, but keep it alternate picked. But I would break it into fours or eights. Like right there, six notes. There's your next four. Here's your next line down. So you have. Here's your next one. Think of a shift with the third finger. It's like a bar, but just making the knuckle move. 16 D, G, D. And then a 14 G. And that's down, up, down, up. 16 pull 14 D. And then 16 slide 14 A. Pinch harmonic uh, on that 14A. One more time. Um, 303 timestamp. You got this going on. And then. So he's getting different pinch harmonic tones by moving in between the pickups seven times. Release, pull to two. Then here's your next one. A cool run. Think of this and doing that on the next strings. So it's cool. Three oh nine. You got this. Oops. Then this, step and a half, that's three fret bend, F sharp to A. And then dive bomb it. 16 E. Okay, here's your next run. It's 
a good little subgroup. Then then that's that one. Three eighteen. I think he finishes up the solo right here. It's cool. 16 to 18, oops. And then, uh, you'll go. <clears throat> half step bend, one fret. Step and a half, three frets. And if it doesn't say the fraction name, then it's a two fret bend, which is a whole step. Okay? Top of page three, 349 timestamp. This is the one I started this, uh, the, in, the intro of this lesson with. Here it is slow. Think of the scale. Oops. Once you got the map of the scale, then just memorize the pattern. Right? Okay, then you're going to go 16, 14 DG, half bend. Two fifty-three. we got this. Again. Here's the next one. It's cool. Some string skipping. Here's your next one. Arpeggio. Four oh one timestamp. Here you go. Oops, do that again. It's got some whammy in it. Oops. Next one. Oops. And then, okay, 406 timestamp. Do it up to there again. Then go. This is the last six. Eight. Next one. Nothing too crazy there. And then we go to the top of page four. Nineteen seventeen. Do it again. And then three half step bends. That's one fret. And then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go twenty one to nineteen. And then and then you'll see double dots here, nineteen high E. You're going to go half step, bend, release, pull to 17, to 19B. Do that four times. Sounds like this. And then, then we'll go 
It's a great run. Let's do that again. Four twenty four. We got this. middle third and then we're gonna go 11 G we're coming down descending now that and you just work on the speed and they'll get better 14a see, middle finger yep twice okay last line on the bottom of page four we've got Finish it with Okay, top of page five. Actually that might be the end of it. Yeah. We don't have five pages. We have four pages. So Let's back this to up. Just go to the bottom line of page four, and you've got this. So. See how I piece it? Anyways, um, tough stuff, man. This player is, you know, he's top shelf. There's no doubt about it. We talked about it, right? I think you sent sent me an email stating who the guitar player was. Dan Huff. Was that who it was? Anyways, sounds like him. All right, thanks a lot, man.